On Monday, February 19, Mali's transitional leader, Colonel Asimi Guita, met with the Chief of Staff of Mali's National Army and the heads of the military services of the National Defense and Security Forces. This meeting provided an opportunity to assess the security situation and to review the geopolitical situation at regional and international level. The head of state issued clear directives aimed at achieving the political and strategic objectives set. To this end, he praised the coercion of the defense and security system, which is an absolute priority of the country's highest authorities and the Malian people. He also took the opportunity to thank the Malian people for agreeing to give the Malian armed forces an important role despite the economic difficulties they are facing. Minister Kamara affirmed that the defense and security forces are now equipped and ready to carry out their mission of territorial integrity and the protection of people and property. This is in the supreme interest of those who live and work in the Union of Sahel States. The President of the Union of the Sahel States has clearly defined his priorities and has placed the population at the center of all security operations. His call is for pressure to be maintained on the forces on the ground as long as there is even slightest stress of terrorism in the country and as long as his compatriots do not enjoy freedom of movement.